Well, hey, y'all, and welcome to the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. I am Susan, your hostess, and today I'm taking on a challenge uh, given by Jen at Good Times Homestead with Jen and Steve. Jen was on my panel yesterday on my live, and I wanted to uh, get in on this because this is a recipe that I have been wanting to try for a long, long time, but never got around to it. And it is something that I have never made, so y'all are going to see me doing it for the very first time. What is the recipe? Oh, before I go any further, this is a hashtag, make it your own mayo. Uh, I'm using grapeseed oil in this recipe, and uh, I will be making a homemade mayonnaise. Uh, grapeseed oil is very beneficial. A study of overweight and or obese women showed that the consumption of grapeseed oil improved inflammatory conditions as well as insulin resistance. Well, I'm obese and I have diabetes. That's a number one plus for me. And another study indicated that grapeseed oil contribute, contributes, <laughs> I'm tongue tied today, um, to lowering platelet aggregation which reduces blood clots. Well, I am also, uh, I have a blood clotting disorder. So that's one of my autoimmune things going on. Grapeseed oil contains polyunsaturated fatty acids, omega-6 fatty acids, linoleic acid, and I hope I'm saying that right, vitamin E, and pheno phenolic antioxidants. And that comes from WebMD. And I'm going to continue on with what WebMD has to say. Grapeseed oil contains high levels of vitamin E, which is, has antioxidant properties and has shown to contribute to the reduction of damaged cells from free radicals. This protection helps to prevent heart disease and some cancers. So there's three pluses right there for using grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil is made from grape seeds, which are a byproduct of wine making. And they take these seeds, and I'm going into another article now. This is WebMD that I just read. And this little blurb here is from Medical News Today. Uh, grape seed oil is a cold processed oil, which gives more health benefits. But make sure you're reading the label to make sure that you're getting the cold process because I think they're doing some that are not. Um, cold processed oils do not use chemical solvents or high heat during the processing. So the cold processed oils give you more of the benefits from the seed. Um, you're getting the vitamin E, the antioxidants, and all that good stuff. So you want to make sure that you read your bottles when you buy this stuff in the store. Now, mayonnaise uh, in the stores have got, has gotten ridiculously high in price. And if you go and look at some of the labels, some of them are genetically modified. And I am trying to avoid everything that is genetically modified and eat raw, natural, organic foods. No hormones, no jabs, you know, none of that. I want as organic and natural as I can get to benefit the health of my body because I do have all these autoimmune diseases. So I went online and I did some research and I found a recipe that I thought I would like to try and it's from easypeasymeals.com. Don't worry, it will be linked in the description box below along with uh, Jen's channel and the playlist. You will find all that in the description box below. So what is in this recipe? It is one large egg, room temperature, one half teaspoon ground mustard, one half teaspoon of a kosher salt or some kind of salt that doesn't have all the um, iodine and stuff in it, like a um, pink Himalayan salt, uh, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and they said freshly squeezed at room temperature. Well, mine is bottled. But I also have my homemade um, apple cider vinegar. 
and I think I'm going to divide that and do a little bit of apple cider vinegar in place of some of the lemon juice because of the benefits of apple cider vinegar. And one and a quarter cups of grapeseed oil or a neutral flavored oil, safflower, canola, or light olive oil, and they don't suggest using uh, extra virgin island olive oil. So that's the recipe, and all this is going to be, again, linked in the description box below, and we're going to the kitchen. All right, I've got my setup. I've got a uh, immersion blender that I'm going to put together, and this is a brand new immersion blender I have never used. I do use one for my soap making. And this is just a cheap Walmart brand that I picked up on clearance a while back. Oh, I haven't got it on there good. There it goes. I've got a uh, four cup Pyrex bowl. This is to break my egg in. I've got my salt. I've got lime juice. I don't have lemon juice. That's okay. I'll use what I have. Um, I've got apple cider vinegar. And this is homemade apple cider vinegar. Look at the mother in that. Isn't that beautiful? And the chickens love the mother too. Or I could take it and start a new batch and add that to it. I have some ground mustard. And I've got my 100% grapeseed oil. And I keep this in the refrigerator, y'all. So we're going to start. The recipe says to start with one large egg. This is an egg from our chickens. And... I'll show you how beautiful that yolk is, y'all. Can y'all see the color of that yolk? Whoops. I'm going to pour it in my bowl. And it says to uh, add egg and process for 30 seconds. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to get plugged up. so it doesn't fall and now I'm going to add one half teaspoon of ground mustard and actually I'm going to add my salt first because whoops I'm a messy cook I'm going to add the salt first because I'm going to be putting this same teaspoon into my ground mustard and I don't want to transfer it over into my salt so we're going to add the salt first and I keep oxygen absorbers and all my spices that have no sugar in them and this is ground mustard and most of my spices come from um, the Mennonite store so we can move these two items out of the way and we're supposed to add our lemon juice which I have lime juice so it may have a little different flavor to it that's okay but I'm going to add one tablespoon of lime juice. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of my apple cider vinegar. Which is a beautiful vinegar, y'all. Get that out of the way. I had an extra tablespoon over here I was supposed to change out. Oh, well. Life goes on. And now we're supposed to do this for another 30 seconds. I'm going to add one cup and then I'm going to measure out another quarter cup of the oil. And then we're going to slowly mix it into the egg mixture.
they say to beat it for two minutes. And um, I'm pretty sure I've gone over that, but I'm going to go ahead and continue to beat this just a little bit longer. So. I want you to see how creamy that is. Okay, my camera went down, but there's the mayonnaise in the jar. It uh, makes a cup and one half, and you see all the ingredients that I used, and it is delicious, y'all. So, I've got my mayonnaise here. Y'all, look at this. It's just beautiful. We're going to slather it on because we got a little bit left over. And I think I've pretty much scraped my bowl. And we have some ham and a piece of American cheese. I know American cheese isn't great for you. But that's what I've got on hand. That's what I'm going to use. Boy, that wrapper was tough to open up. And lunch meat's not the best thing in the world for you. It contains nitrates. But that's what we have in the house right now, so that's what I'm eating. I'm really trying to get away from all of this stuff. And I've got a piece of cheese here. And it's processed. I know. I know. Don't be eating the processed food, Susan. It's not good for you, but that's what we have today. So I've got me a nice sandwich. We're going to wrap it up and take it into the living room. All right, y'all. It's sandwich eating time. Look at that. Yum. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm going to have food stuck to my teeth. All right, we have made homemade mayonnaise for the very first time. I think it was a success. Thank you, Jen, so much for doing this challenge. I am telling you that it is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to challenge some channels right now. Papa's Kitchen, Canadian Family Life, Handicap Traveler, Small Holder Homestead, and small North Carolina family homestead. You are challenged to try to make your own mayonnaise. It's hashtag make your own mayo, hosted by Good Times Homestead with Jen and Steve. Put that in your title so she can find it and add you to the playlist. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you will try this recipe. Be blessed everyone.